Good afternoon classes for level three, carbon arc gouging. What we're going to look at is the electrodes or rods, the carbon electrodes that we use to remove material, whether it's a weld or a base metal. So what we're going to look at the ones that we carry in stock and their uses. <clears throat> this is a 3 16 rod. Now it has a carbon core and a copper outer. Now the copper sheath on the outside is meant to stabilize the copper rod itself on the inside. Helps make it a little more resilient because they're very fragile and can break quickly. Now you're going to look at a couple different sizes here and the reason the sizes vary is how big a swath of metal or weld you want to take out. All right, now this one's 3 16 so basically you would be taking a swath out about the diameter of this electrode. You would need about 200 to 250 amps in order to do that along with the compressed air. This is a quarter inch rod. Still copper on the outside, but it has a carbon tip. All right, so this would give you about a quarter inch wide because this is a quarter inch diameter swap the material or weld but of course you're going to need a little bit more power 250 300 amps along that lines now <clears throat> the next one up is the 3 8 now the 3 8 that of course would give you a bigger swath need more power three to four hundred amps but you can remove a lot more material faster this is one of my favorites. This is a butter knife. That's a slang word. It's a flat bladed carbon arc rod. It can be held just like anything else, but it can remove an enormous amount of material once you start doing it. Usually it's best for shaping. So if you're going to be shaping some kind of object, this is the best way to do it. It doesn't dig down deep, but it digs broad and for the 300 to 400 amps you're going to use it can make a very large job go a lot quicker so once again very interesting rod it's in common use throughout the industry it's for removing a lot of material fast now years ago when we used to well myself particularly work on trident submarine components and parts when we would have to shape the hole of the escape hatch or the escape trunk we would use rods like this to shape and give it a radius similar to the submarines radius and rods like this help that move along quickly and there was a lot of shaping that had to be done now <clears throat> that's just one off application there's a lot more but we'll discuss this in few further details in classes thanks again level three carbon arc gouging